All right, and welcome back. My name is Paul, and in this episode, I am going to walk you through step-by-step step, the best tactics, the best strategy to travel around Upland to save you time and money. Let's go. All right, so as I mentioned earlier, in this video, we are going to discuss traveling around Upland, traveling around efficiently for time and money, all right? Uh, what I mean by money is you have to spend UPX, which is in-game currency, to travel between city and city. Um, and I will explain everything to you in detail right now. So, as you can see behind me, we are logged into Upland. Um, this here is a send. You need sends in order to send your block explorer um, around. I spoke about that in my other video, which you can check out after this. But if you click on your block explorer and, and click on this little airplane, you'll see how many sends you have. I currently have 11 sends. Um, but if you don't have sends, that's what you wanna look for to pick up, okay? Um, like I said, I went over it in another video, so watch that and you'll know exactly what to do with these. So let's say I wanna get to um, Los Angeles from Brooklyn, where my current um, where my current block explorer is right now is in Brooklyn. So let's say I want to go from book Brooklyn to Los Angeles. So how do I do that? Okay. There's a few things you can do. You could take a bus. You could take a train. You can take a uh, the Hyperloop, right? If it's available in your city. In this case, since we're traveling across the country, I'm probably going to have to take an airplane. So as you can see here, if I zoom out, like I mentioned, I'm in Brooklyn. You'll see the trains, you'll see the bus icons, you'll see the airport icons as soon as it loads. Here it is, airport, okay? So um, obviously I'm gonna have to take the bus to the airport because I can't, uh, the East Coast is a little confusing because even though this looks like it's super close to where I am in Brooklyn, I still have to go to either Queens or Manhattan to get to this bus station to get to this airport, okay? Um, in this example, I'm not actually going to travel to Los Angeles, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that um, and the steps to take. And also, I'm gonna give you a very cool tool that you can use that will help you throughout this whole process, okay? Um, basically, if you join the Discord group, uh, you will get access to helpful info <laughs> and under helpful info you'll find the maps that you will need to travel around and it basically tells you the time it takes how much upx uh it's going to take to get there and how to get there you know like the orange is um the train and the blue is the planes and the greens are the buses so this is a very 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 helpful tool uh, once you log into the discord group you go to uh, helpful information you click on the image and then you click on open original down here. That way you can then download the original and it will be clear enough for you to see. Uh, so right now I am in Brooklyn. Where is Brooklyn? Right here. Okay, and if I wanna get to Los Angeles, say, I'll look at Brooklyn, I'll say, okay, how do I get to LA? The only way out of Brooklyn, it looks like, is either to Manhattan, to Queens, or to the Bronx. Okay, so those are my three options. And the only means of travel um, oh, and I can also go to Staten Island, but that's like a roundabout, you know, Staten Island to Queens. Might as well just go directly to Queens. As you can see, one minute and nine seconds to Queens from Brooklyn. If I go directly to Queens or if I take this long way, it'll take upwards of maybe uh, almost 20 minutes. Okay. So that's why this is important. Uh, with this map, you'll be able to map out the best route and for the best amount of money, for the least amount of money. For example, from Brooklyn to Queens only 10 UPX. If I don't know what I'm doing and I take the long way from Brooklyn to Staten Island, 20 UPX, then from Staten Island to Queens, another 10 UPX, and now I'm at 30. And then if I wanna to go to Queens uh, to to Manhattan or, the, or JFK, that's another 10 UPX, right? So looking at the map, I'm in Brooklyn. I wanna to go to JFK to travel to Los Angeles. So what's the best way to do that? I see here. If I can go, I can go to, all right, Queens, because Queens connects to JFK, and also Manhattan connects to JFK. So I'm going to go to from Brooklyn to Queens. It's going to cost me 10 UPX, 
and it's going to take one minute and nine seconds. Okay, I'm going to show you what that looks like. So here I am in Brooklyn. This is, and again, if you click on this down here, it'll lay out the city for you. It'll uh, basically out, lay out all the lines and everything you need. Uh, just give it a second. My computer's spazzing out. There you go. So I know this, day st this train station is in Brooklyn. Make sure you have enough UPX to travel because it's going to cost you UPX to get to the train station. And I'm going to do this for you uh, just so you can see what it looks like. It's going to cost UPX to get to the train station. Okay, go to train terminal. And that's going to cost me 10 UPX. Confirm that I want to go there. And you see I have 11 cents, so I have enough cents to move around. All right. Now that I'm at the train station, I can actually get on a train. I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. So I'm going to click on train terminal. And it's going to load all the possible routes. All right, where do I want to go? I want to go to Queens because I know Queens connects to JFK. Okay, there's no point to go anywhere else because Queens connects to JFK. I can also go to Manhattan because Manhattan connects to JFK. But that's going to cost me 10 more UPX than just going to Queens. All right. So because I know what I'm looking at, I'm just going to close the Discord. Just because I know what I'm looking at over here, I'm going to spend a total of 10 UPX just to get to, to JFK instead of 30, as you can see, if I go to Manhattan and then to uh, JFK. All right, so let's go back to Upland. I want to go to Queens. Boom, I'm going to click on Queens. It's going to cost 10 UPX. Let's look at my chart. 10 UPX. Uh, right here, 10 UPX. Okay. Let's go. I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to confirm. Now, again, I'm, I'm not actually going to travel to Los Angeles, but I'm going to show you what it looks like to almost get on an airplane. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go back to Brooklyn just because that's my treasure hunting city right now. So there you have it. We're on the train. One minute and nine seconds. We will be in Queens. And then I have to take a, a bus from Queens, which you can see right here, to JFK, which is right here. So it's going to tell me it's going to take me 1 minute and 19 seconds. Okay? There you have it. I'm traveling. And uh, I don't want you to sit here for 1 minute and 20 seconds and watch the train travel. So I'm just going to speed this up. And when we get there, I will be right back. Quick side note, if you want to know how much more time you have, you could just click on the little train and it'll tell you. 27 seconds, 26. And there you go. We have reached Queen, so we're going to go ahead and disembark from the train. All right, now that we're in Queens and we're already at the train station, what I like to do first, if I don't check my map, you know, because I can see that I can go from Queens to uh, JFK on the bus. I know I, I can't really, I mean, I can do it on a train if I uh, want to go to uh, Manhattan and then from Manhattan to, J to um, which I still have to take a bus anyways. And that's why it's important to have this map, okay? So I'm going to take the, the Queen's bus to JFK right now. Let's go. Okay. So as you saw, I zoomed in to the train station and I clicked on the train and it gives me a bus option right here to JFK. So I'm going to click on the bus option and I am going to accept a 10 UPX travel fee and I'm going to accept that. And we will be headed to JFK via bus. <laughs> as you can see the little animation, I'm getting on the bus now. Uh, again, I'm going to fast forward this because I don't want you to wait the one minute and 20 seconds it's going to take to get there. And... I will talk to you when we get there. And there you have it. We have arrived at JFK. All right, so I'm going to disembark. All right, so right after you disembark, what you want to do is click on one of the airplanes and go to a terminal, okay? So let's find a little airplane. There's one right there. And let's go to terminal. 
All right, you can see um, that it it varies. It ranges from 20 UPX to 50 UPX or sometimes more depending on the city you're in. Sometimes the flights will be sold out. So if it is sold out, just wait a few minutes, come back, check it out again, or maybe click on another terminal. All right, terminal five is good. I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna spend the 20 UPX to go to the terminal to show you what that looks like. Confirm. It should be instant. It's not uh, like riding the bus. There you go. We are officially at the terminal. Once you get to the terminal, click on the airplane again and it will load the available locations and flights for you. And there you have it. This is everywhere I can travel to from um, JFK. And if you're looking at this list and you're wondering, oh, well, how much is it cost to go here? How much is it cost to go there? Simple. Again, click on the map. All right, uh, so if you wanna go to, let's say you don't wanna go to LA, you wanna go to Nashville. So you look at the map, we're at JFK. Um, from JFK, we can go to Nashville over here um, and basically just follow the map, uh, the lines. All right, so we're at JFK and that will take me 770 UPX and that will take me approximately 12 minutes to get there. All right, um, and that, essentially that's it. That's how you travel around Upland. You need this map, okay? It is essential for you to get this map if you want to travel around upland efficiently i will put the link for the discord server down below so that you can join and get this information um, if you are investing in upland and you are playing this um a play to earn game i highly highly recommend joining the group so you can get all this information all right um, if you have any questions, again, I'm not going to travel there because I, I want to stay on the East Coast right now. There, I have no reason to travel to uh, Las Vegas or Los Angeles or any of these places. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that, and I'm going to make my way back to Brooklyn. Uh, but I'm glad I got to show this to you. Um, a lot of people starting out find this very intimidating, which it is really not. Again, that's how I felt when I started this. I was like, how do I travel? Where do I go? Oh my God, all these buses and trains and, right? Um, until I found this, <laughs> okay? Um, besides that, this video, I just wanted to make it short and sweet. I wanted to show you how easy it is really to travel around. Um, just make sure you have the sends. Make sure you have the UPX to get to where you want to go and to get back if you're coming back. Um, if I end up spending everything that I have and I'm stuck in one city, I will either try to treasure hunt, I will try to sell a property, or I will just wait until my properties produce enough UPX for me to go back home. And you can always add some USD to buy some UPX um, to travel, which I don't really like to do, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. All right. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions, Ask me below in the comments. I'll do my best to get to them as soon as possible. Uh, but besides that, enjoy Upland and happy trading.